my name's Jennifer and welcome to the house full of plants. You're like, oh wow, you have a lot of plants. And that's like, baby, this is the house full of plants. I have a plant collection of about almost 170 plants. It was a little higher at its worst maybe, if however you want to look at it. <laughs> so I live in a very small basement apartment, but I still manage to cram all my plants into the four windows that I have. So I have this whole shelf here just taking up this whole window, like this uh, peperomia, this watermelon peperomia over here. Oh my god. Go figure, I pick like the one that's the hardest to pull out. <laughs> it's kind of haggard, but I still love it. Limited space means I have limited room for bigger plants, so more tinier. Um, additions like this Repsalis, this hidden, and this Repsalis, which I featured on my Instagram page recently. Mm -hmm. It's House Full of Plants, at House Full of Plants on IG. <laughs> Edit that in, right there. <laughs> yes. Do you, have, do you have that power? <laughs> it's like right there. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, this is a plant that is very near and dear to my heart. I had a friend who was leaving, so she gave me this and she's like, oh, I think I have an ivy, and she gave it to me. I'm like, no, this is an ivy, like this is a Hoya Bella, and Hoyas are kind of hard to like find, and especially this type. Also in the same family is the Hoya Shepardi, <laughs> which, <laughs> that wasn't, that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are the same family. Oh yeah, I have things oh. climbing on my ceiling. I don't know how my landlords are going to feel about this. <laughs> so this is a pothos. If you are new to plant care, I highly recommend getting Apothos. They come in so many different types of varieties, but have basically the same type of plant, which is easy because then it requires more or less the same type of care. We can go into my living room, um, which is the second main uh, concentration of plants within the house full of plants. And that's what I'm going for is like mm. tropical vibes, especially because like it is minus whatever outside, and why not just have a bunch of plants in your home? I feel like everyone has their hobby, and mine is just bringing the outside inside, because mm. I'm like going outside. Speaking of St. Mary's, actually, I went to St. Mary's once for like a work thing, and did you I steal just, plants? And steal plants. <laughs> Don't steal. Um, I but I happened to go there when the gentleman who maintains the live wall was trimming it, and he gave me um, a big monstera stem, and now from that I'm getting whole new little baby monsteras. So I have that and then a few other like pothos nodes just kicking around there trying to propagate. If you're kind of short on cash but still want to have um, plants in your life, which I recognize a lot of students um, mm. are in that position, you can get cuttings and make your own plants. There are ways to do it cheaply. Get some friends who have plants and just have little plant swaps every now and then. There's also some great Facebook pages too. Or visit me at House Full of Plants and I can try and help you out. Yeah, so I'm trying to build a little business around it. It's like offering workshops and interior plant decor services. There's a lot of really amazing people in Halifax who do the same thing, kind of have the same spirit about them to also share the planty goodness with the rest of the community. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where I cultivated this interest too, was seeing, um, I think her name's Homestead Brooklyn. Yeah, she had a chicken for a bit. Um, yes. So are you gonna have a chicken too? No, I have this one. <laughs> yeah, bubbas! I want my own land and goats and a chicken. That's what I'm working towards, but I'm only 25, so apparently I'm not allowed to have a house yet. <laughs> so may as well just decorate the, my rental in the best way I can. It is so therapeutic being able mm. to come home and unwind and be surrounded by green and life because you're seeing a rise of this in millennials and millennial culture mm -hmm. and i think millennials are generally a pretty hopeless bunch especially when it comes to um the climate crisis mm. so being able to actually like physically control life and plant life and something that very much symbolizes nature um in your own homes i think is very therapeutic and a very excellent coping mechanism mm. that maybe we've all adopted because uh, the world's truly on fire. So um, donate to this thing to help Australia <laughs> and then follow House Full of Plants. <laughs> <laughs>
this has been my home. Um, thank you so much for coming in and visiting the House Full of Plants.